Each year, billions of drugs are made by pharmaceutical companies across the globe. One form they come in are as tablets, where a variety of ingredients are combined with accurate measurement and on a large scale to produce drugs varying from paracetamol and ibuprofen to more specialised drugs fighting cancer or HIV. And their development requires some very precise engineering and a complex combination of ingredients. The ingredients you need to make a tablet depends on the type of tablet you're making. But firstly, obviously, you need the active ingredients itself. And then you might require a bulking agent, uh, which allows you to uh, increase the volume of the material so a tablet will be a sufficiently large size. The second ingredient you'd need is a binder. This allows it to bind together. Then you'd actually need a degradant, which helps the absorption process, as well as a lubricant, which is required to allow the powder to flow effectively into the tablet press and also the, the, to punch the tablet out after it's been formed. After the ingredients have been put into the bin together, the next stage is to actually mix them all up. So then we have to tumble blend them together to ensure that all the powders are mixed throughout the blend. And once all these ingredients are mixed together well enough, some tablets require a further process of granulation to combine them all together just that little bit more. Well, some products require granulation to ensure that uh, the uh, parts all stay together in the same ratio through the process. So the material after the blending stage goes into a granulator, which then forms, uh, with, a, with the help of a binding solution, forms granules. After which those are formed, then they then fall through a milling stage into a fluid bed dryer. This allows us to evaporate the excess water, but not too much water, otherwise it'll turn back into a powder. Once the final formula has been put together, it's time to make the tablet using a tablet press. This is a rotating cylinder of plates, with each plate having a series of holes, called dies, and two punches, one above and one below each hole. The drug mixture fills each hole, is pressed down and compressed by the top puncher, and then pushed up and popped out of the hole by the puncher below. Each hole is the same size, and by filling each to capacity, the tablets are all then uniform. The number of tablets made depends on the size of these holes, and in some cases, 130,000 can be made every hour. But although they're now made, that's still not the end. Once we've made the tablet, then there is a stage that a lot of tablets go through, which is the coating process. The coating process is very similar to a tumble dryer, where we spray liquid in as we tumble them down, which coats the tablets. Now, there's many reasons why you coat a tablet. One is to actually protect the tablet from the environment. Another reason could be to avoid a bad taste of the tablet itself when the patient uh, swallows them. It can make them easier to swallow in the first place. And it can also affect the release properties of the tablet. So the tablets are now ready to go with the right mix of active and bulking ingredients, the right consistency and the relevant coatings to perhaps make them taste better or last longer in our bodies. So the final engineering step is then to package them up so they're ready to go. The equipment and machinery for this process hasn't changed much over time, but the future of this area is in the technology used to understand and control the process and collect data to ensure consistent manufacture and also development in the future.